in business, you got to make a decision. You got to live with the decision. And uh, if you screw up, don't be someone that points the finger at everyone else. Um, I think, I, you know, I've, I've worked and I've seen so many of you guys in this group, and it's interesting to see the people that end up being successful, whether they're successful specifically in lead generation or SEO or Facebook advertising, or not even on the internet, maybe in mortgage and real estate and some of the other things they do. Or, you know, we have a lot of people in here that don't run this business model the way I teach it. They just run it for their specific small business, right? And it's interesting over the years and the thousands of people that have came through here and the thousands of people I've coached and trained and mentored, right? It's interesting seeing the difference in mindset between a winner and a loser, right? And I don't mean a loser in the sense that like they're bad people, but just from a, from a business standpoint, you know, the, the difference between winning at a business as an entrepreneur or losing at a business and more times than not. And I think many of you guys will probably see this, um, uh, more times than not the person with the mindset that blames everything on everyone else. It's your fault. It's nothing. It's not my fault. It's your fault that this happened. It's your fault. It's your fault. Those people tend to struggle quite a bit. Those, those people tend to have an incorrect mindset. So the first kind of like tip for you guys today, you know, as I'm telling you this story is, is look at the way that you respond to uh, situations that come your way in business, in life. And are you someone that is constantly pointing the finger at someone else? Or are you someone that looks at yourself and is like, that was my bad. What could I have done differently next time so that didn't happen? That could be in the sense of a lead gen deal that goes sideways. That could be an SEO deal that you guys get from, from the training in here. That could be, it could be so many different things. That could be a customer that you've had for six months that, that, that cuts you off. Even though you're thinking, you think you're doing a good job, even though you maybe got them the best rankings and you're actually getting them leads, there's something you did, okay? There's something you could have done differently to change, potentially, potentially change, potentially change that situation in the outcome that came from, from it, right? I think a lot of you guys need to hear that because some of you guys, some of you guys know, no one's ever talked to you this way in your life. No one's ever told you that, you know, little Johnny, it's, it, it's not your fault, little Johnny, it's their fault. You know, that's how you got raised maybe by, by your parents or, or your guardians. This way. Everyone was always telling you, it's, it, hey, it wasn't your bad, dude, it was theirs. And sometime, somehow, some way ingrained in you this ability to pass blame on other people instead of looking back at yourself and saying, how could I have accomplished what I was trying to do better? How could I have uh, uh, attacked that situation differently? And how do I take, this is the biggest one of all, how do I take that loss, 